to our YouTube channel Toy Hunter. So today we're gonna be talking about the uh, DC Multiverse McFarland Toys. Uh, now we have the DC Trinity, namely Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Batman. Of course, the three, uh, the three most famous DC superhero. Okay, I'm gonna be unboxing today, but so first on the list is Wonder Woman. Gonna be opening the box. Let's see. Let's see how she. Inside the box, you see the some sort of a trading card and the figure stand. And here's the box of the box. We have the beautiful Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman costume. So here are the other toys to choose from. The side is just a just a letter of Wonder Woman, not unlike the Marvel Legends, where there is an artwork. So. Right now, let's see Wonder Woman. Okay, uh, does she looks like Gal Gadot? Uh, probably 60 to 70 percent. Uh, she looks like Gal Gadot. The costumes got it, huh? and the shoes and her. Yeah, so the accessories for Wonder Woman are, the, are her magic lasso. Oh. It's just the magic lasso. So let's see how she stands. Let's remove her from the clamshell. So this is Wonder Woman out of the box. See her only her magic lasso. So, so this is the back of the figure. Oh, the, uh, this is this side. This is the back on the other side. Okay. Well, uh, perhaps 60 to 70 percent that she looks like Gal Gadot. Okay, so one thing I don't like about this figure is she cannot uh, turn her head. See, see, uh, I'm having a hard time turning her head. Let's. Uh, it's hard to turn her head, so that's a minus for this figure. But uh, she got 22 points of articulation. All right, the joints are tight. You can hold her hair like this, just like what she does in the movie. She slides, yeah, and throw her lasso. Make her split. Place her both her arms and okay. Make her jump. So there you go. There you see the articulation of Wonder Woman. So next is uh. So it's, it's gonna be it. So it's gonna be. First, my favorite DC superhero. Oh, sorry about that. The Batman. So, right now, I'm gonna be unboxing the Batman. Uh, see? So his trading card and his bigger stand. So this is the box, the one that also looks like the indie trading card. So, so here's the figure, uh, Batman in clamshell. So I'm just gonna remove these things, remove this uh, uh, Batman from the clamshell. 
Probably, probably I won't be removing the rest of the accessories. Alright, the accessories are the... What is this? The Rappel Gun. The Batarang. I, I call this um, probably the one for the Rappel and the uh, Smoke Bomb. So this Batman is from the Arkham Knight games. From the game Arkham Knight. Okay. So just, just gonna remove Batman from the clamshell. Sweet. So we're back guys. Okay. Well I'm removing the plastic that contains Batman's chest. I accidentally uh, chip, chip or scratch his muscle around here. See, see that? You see, uh, too bad. Okay, so this is the figure. See, okay, escape, scout. Oh, this Batman can move, and he can also, uh, what do you call this? Turn his head. He turn, can turn his head. Oh man, I'm not gonna forgive myself for. Okay, the joints are tight. Wait. Can I move this? Ah, uh, yes, I, yes, I can. This one's a little bit tight. The skirt might broke it. Alright. Batman stand its own, yep. Okay. Let's put the gun on his hand. Let's see what it happened. Well, this is how he looks like with holding his gun. And how about his battery? So this is his battering. Okay, nice. Cool, very nice figure. Cool. I love this Batman. Huh? Oh, okay, he's holding up the gun. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, stand it. Oh, see. So the next one is last on the list is of course Superman. It's gonna get Superman. Okay. Come here Batman. You've done good. Where's Wonder Woman? I think Wonder Woman's taller taller than the Batman. Magic lasso. Okay. Okay now, soups. Time for you to do get out of your box, Superman. And now let's remove Superman from his box. Careful, because we're gonna return the figure back into the box. Oh, this one's stick. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see what the Superman has. Oh. So, Superman's accessories are uh, two alternate hands. Okay, I better be careful with this one. The one to ruin Superman's uh, body paint. And plus, okay, this is good. Superman got a three figure stand. And of course, Superman's trading card. Cool. How I wish all the figures have this figure stand. Okay, let me show you the back of the box. So, this is the back of the box. This is just a bigger version of the trading card. See, as you can see. Uh, these are the other collectible, the Unchained Superman. 
And the Batman hash. Oh. Did they release this? I don't think they released this. Or did they? Oh, probably. The one that I did not choose. Okay, the Batman Labs. And the Bat Raptor. Where is it? Okay, now we're gonna remove uh, Superman from the clamshell. Okay, now guys, we're back. We removed Superman from his clamshell. But I have a hard time uh, putting Superman static. See, as you can see, it's it, not that good maybe that's why he got this uh, bigger stand but overall I love the Superman first especially his uh, what do you call this shiny Superman logo okay this is probably the coolest Superman action figure I've seen this, this is base a little bit grumpy <laughs> The overall, it looks great. Superman looks great. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to remove this alternate hand. Okay, this is not like this is not like the Marble Legends where you remove the joint, but you just pull it up here. See, you can see that. You just gonna have to put him here. Okay, maybe this is. His punching hand or his flying hand. Okay, there you go. Come on, dude. Oh, yep, you can see stand. Okay, let's see. Oh, great. You can move his head. Do just a little. Take a little break and just also a little. Plus, also his torso is bendable. Okay. And these are great. Hmm. It's a very colorful indeed Superman action figure. Probably the best Superman action figure. Okay. Uh, let's see. There you go. Good to stand. Very colorful. Very vibrant. Very toy. So if you want to get uh, this one. You have to purchase it now because so these figures are actually cool and awesome to display with. Now let's get a, let's put all the three together now. Ah, man, Superman can't stand it. So, okay, okay. the bat. Where's the bat? Can stand it. Oh, look at this cow. And Wonder Woman. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, move Wonder Woman's head again. She can turn only up until this point only. And this one, nope, not that. Yep, it's only movable on, on this side. Yes, we still go up here. Great long legs for Wonder Woman. As you can see, the three, the Trinity. Awesome figure, the three. Parlin has done a great job doing these figures. Thankfully, Parlin has received has received the rights to make DC Comics characters. So right now, I'm gonna be comparing the uh, previous version of Wonder Woman, which was done by Mattel. Okay. So, here's it, the 
Mattel version of the Wonder Woman. Okay, I, I did not open the box yet. You can see, okay, it was great, it was also great. Of course, this is the comics version of the Wonder Woman. Well, this one is the Gal Gadot movie version. Okay, yeah, compare. Okay. So others are saying that Mapex has built the perfect Wonder Woman action figure. Okay, I also like this Wonder Woman comic version. Now let's try Batman. I'm gonna uh, put Batman and uh, um, we're gonna compare the Batman. Okay, here is the Batman from Mattel wearing the blue cow. Okay, so this is the comics version. Also holding a batarang and the Scorpion gun. Oh, just like this, just like this one, the Scorpion gun and the batarang. Oh, very cool indeed. As you can see, yep. So it's also nice. The Mattel toys are also great, but not that uh, detailed. Just like this one, the McFarlane toys. And now we're gonna be comparing the these McFarlane toys to other figures, perhaps. Okay. So okay, guys, this is Thor on the Toy Biz line. This is the Rock Python from Hasbro. Oh, let's just move this a little bit. As you can see, the McFarlane figures are much taller than the Hasbro. Probably an inch taller. Yeah. Let's see Superman against Thor. And the Rock Python. Let's see. Wonder Woman is too tall for the Rock Python. Okay, now, now is our time to choose. Uh, which one among the three is my favorite among, among the Which one among the three? Sorry about that. Which one among the three is my favorite? So, okay. Yes, I'll just have to go with. With my favorite DC comic superhero. Not just DC, but all of all the superhero. I just have to say the Batman is my favorite. His face. That fierce look of Batman. That uh, detailed detailed figure. Batman also Superman. My partner has also done a great job. Probably the best Superman. So you get the best Superman action figure. And the wonderful man. But I choose Batman. Batman is the best. Best looking, good looking uh, of the bunch. So this is probably my, my third port Pip McFarlane toys. For us. Uh, I love these Batman toys. I love this Batman. So, okay guys. Now, I'm going to have to put them all together. So, this is it guys. Uh, goodbye and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share our YouTube channel, Toy Hunter. So, until next time. Bye-bye.